guys, and welcome to another episode of The Tea with Malavi and Thomason. And we're here today with some amazing guests for a very important episode. Yep, one that yep. you need. You need to watch to the very end. Trust me, you don't <laughs> want to miss this, okay? So our guest today, we have Sonari One Dick, Michael so, Omayowa, whichever you one you go <laughs> my, my full name is Michael Mayowa Adebayo Sonari That's my full name. Okay. Scenario on deck is also my handle too. Awesome, awesome, man. What do you do? Please, in, please oh, wow. introduce yourself. Um, so, um, all of it. Okay. All of it. I'll list expose it out. You. Okay. <laughs> 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 so, I'm a content creator. I'm also an entrepreneur. I run an entertainment company called EMG Entertainment. Jeez. I'm an entertainment consultant also. I'm an A and R and. I guess now I'm an artist too. Sunday at Ila Shed, go and stream the song. <laughs> we have the party coming up, end of the month. We're going to have a music video coming out. So, yeah. I, I, yeah, you did well. Well done, well okay. done, well done, mm. well done. We also have a pioneer in the building, okay? Come on. Okay. This Come is on. not an, any, any ordinary episode, guys. Come on. Okay. <laughs> Fresh L in the building. What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up people? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god i'm super excited and Come thank you guys here. so much for coming through no, for, for this sure, episode mm-hmm. this is gonna be awesome because we're starting out. with something very interesting something that um people don't like talking about but a lot of you out there do it like <laughs> don't even lie a lot of you out there are pressing send on them titty pics okay you ain't lying we know we know about <laughs> it yeah drink that <laughs> No, I was thirsty. I, I was thirsty. I, I legit was thirsty. <laughs> but the truth is, um, sharing pictures and video and information now has become so easy, and everyone's yeah. sort of doing it. But like, first of all, have have you guys? I haven't. Okay. <laughs> You've never sent you. Are you You've never sent any kind of nude. No. Never. Really? No, I haven't. I do not believe that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe what? that. I don't I believe that. I don't wow. Believe okay. That. I respect it. That, that's really good. Yeah. That's really... It's, I don't know if it's good, but it's cool. No, it's fine. Yeah. Yeah. everyone else has. I have. Definitely. I have. Yeah. I have. I have. Uh, I've given, I've received. The thing is, when I was young, not at this age, but when I was younger, like, yeah. you know, 20s, when I was like, <laughs> you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> is there an age limit for news? Cause no, 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 there's no age like, limit, but it's like, now I'm not going to, like, at this age, I'm not going to send, if you really want to see it, pull up. Like, yeah. <laughs> pull up. That's Unless we're normal. dating and, you know, we're dating, that's different. But at this age, pull yeah. up. I mean, fair, even, fair, even sometimes fair. someone I'm dating with, like, now, or not dating, because I guess I haven't really been dating. Anyway, um, if I'm seeing someone and I'm, like, just trying to, like, you know, mm-hmm. keep yeah. things, like, sexy, yeah. I could just send a little pic, you know, I... and be like, pull up. That's mm-hmm. cute, now. You know, exactly. <laughs> it's cute. It's just that's cute. little cute thing. But do you, do you send them on request? Is it? Do you just decide, oh, I'm going to send a nude and you send it? Um, I feel like now, mm-hmm. yes. And it's because it's not often. Mm. It's not something that like happens like, oh, every... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. I just be sending them like that. No. <laughs> I think but, even at, at this stage, uh, now, I don't know about you, but for yeah. me, it's like, Unless we actually dating, like yeah. I don't around, not that I won't appreciate it, but it'll be, <laughs> unless we it'll actually be talk. Right. Like, imagine if you just get it from a random girl. Some that people actually won't mind. That's not lie, but for me, it'll be like, it'll be, it'll be I mean, weird. If I don't know you, it'll yeah. be weird, man. I ain't gonna lie. How does that make you feel? Like when you get random? Yes, I feel, I feel disrespected sometimes. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, is it dependent on the nude? No, yeah, because you know, sometimes, like, I don't, especially like Snapchat, like, girls just be sending oh, random. Yeah. I can't even lie. I was like, why are you doing this? <laughs> I mean, it's a body. I mean, the body's fire. You come and you know, you know, be like, all right, yeah. all right. I see you, but in I the mean, back of your head, you'd be like, ah. You no, know, yeah. Sometimes you know, you 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 give some encouragement. You understand? Sometimes you you know. What but sometimes you have nice? to check people. Like, yeah, like, yeah, like yeah, don't be doing yeah, that. Like if it, if I don't know you, don't yeah, be sending. Man. Like, nah. Wait, so I think it's kind of rude as well, though. Is it because it is not aesthetically pleasing? No, yeah, but so, it's not familiar like that. Like, mm. yeah, yeah, I don't want to be. Yeah. Getting that. I told That's you, fair. see, there's some Lagos well, good sure. men here. Yeah. We have sense. But, <laughs> we have sense. That's fair. I mean, uh, on Snapchat, ex- especially, yeah. you get some. Run- I remember one time. I, I don't go on Snapchat often mm-hmm. because they chased me from there. Because I used to get some very random dick pics, like yeah. out of the wow. blue, like someone just and I'll be like, "Oh, I've been this a long time. What's mm-hmm. this?" And I'm, I'm like, just you, "Yeah." 
And I'll be angry. Of course. Because I'm like, wow. why? No, like, there's a difference. Like, <laughs> if we know each other, not even that we're sleeping with each yeah. other, but if yeah. we know each other and you send me a little story or something, or something private, yeah. not even that you're naked, but like, like I'm going to appreciate that call because I know you at least. Yeah. Not even, yeah. like, even if I don't know you to the foot, but I know who you are. Mm-hmm. But if I don't know you from Adam. Bro, hmm. nah. Now, let me ask you a question. Yeah. What about she's a 10? A nine. Oh no, let's start. Eight, nine, ten. Is a girl you know you're attracted to. I'll you just... check, you even go and do your CRB check. <laughs> <laughs> you go and do your CRB check. No, we know. And you'd be like, oh, she checked some boxes. I'll probably just like throw like a love struck emoji or something. Yeah. But Keep I would try like... like follow up and meet Ah, her. but yeah. you see how you're Keep it light, you know. Just Don't let it emoji. be like, you know, I didn't ask for this. Yeah, so. But then when it's someone you're actually messing with and yeah. you get it like, you know, without asking, then it's, that's very thoughtful, man. Yeah. You know, just, so make, just make my day, man. You know? Honestly. Yeah. Real shit like that makes your day. I like that. But, like, um, now people end up having their nudes then shared with, like, um. the team, the group chat. When I get nudes, yeah, I don't even save it. I would just like to say, to yeah. all the men, to all the men that do that, that's some... Um, okay, we're allowed to curse you. in a group chat. To be oh, honest, nah, that's like, that's happened to me. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. Literally, yeah. Shit. Someone, Sorry someone. About that, man. Sorry about that. Yeah. For real. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, it's a, no. Are, we, are, we, are we allowed to curse on it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Okay. To be honest, any man that does that, that's some fuckboy behavior. It because is. in the end, why am I like for me even? It's like it's crazy, even my guys, we don't do that because I don't want to see if they sent it to you. What's my business? Because yeah. that's why I say even for me, news are not because like I said, I'd rather you pull up. But why am I sharing another woman's? Yeah. That's my. Yeah. That's my. Yeah. Like exactly. you get what I'm saying? Like that's for me. It's crazy. A like, lot of men do it. A lot of men do it. Okay. And a lot of women do it, so I'm not going to lie. To so be like, honest. I think that sending nudes generally is a risk. It is. Understand that if you share your body with somebody over the internet or send via me, there's a very high possibility that they don't even have to intentionally share it. <laughs> that's the truth. So that, <laughs> like, there's honestly, a different... Like, if you send... Like, there's some girls... Like, let's not lie. There's some girls that are on Instagram that have the bikini pics and all that mm-hmm. that you yeah. share to your boys or groups. Exactly. Like, Yo, you see this girl. Yeah, that <laughs> one is different. I'll be honest. But a whole nude, like, that's a different level now. Mm-hmm. I've just accepted, or in my mind, like, I have realized that it's a risk, as I mm-hmm. said. And when I was in uni, I told you, I have stories of when I was in uni. Like, we used to see, like, actual Abra- movies of babes <laughs> and everything. So, yeah, they used to record babes, like, having sex, blackmail them and whatnot. Record- so, like, in my mind, it was something that was a possibility. That is so, I told you, very yeah. early in life, me, I learned the art of, like, very skillful, very artistic nudes. So <laughs> but you see, and this is, and Honestly, like, on a real, like, shade, this is why I don't understand like, about yeah. guys. This is <laughs> why I don't understand about some guys, right? Because they don't realize you're one fucking up the game for all of us yeah. by doing that shit. And at the same time, you doing that now, what are you proving? It's like I was telling somebody this just yesterday, funny enough. I was like, you know what? I have to sit down and think about it. Why do men really shame women when we have sex? Because for a man, yeah. that's the most vulnerable point you're at. Mm-hmm. My voice is deep right now. See, I know how high I've screamed I before know. that the girl can look at me and say, you, <laughs> you, you're I talking. I, even me, there's some, I'm like, I look, yeah. we look at each other, I'm like, I know this girl can say, you know what, I'm going to respect you, God bless you, because you have seen me at one state that I know if niggas heard, they will Watch laugh. Out. And I'm Watch like, out. how do we not actually get this? <laughs> Yeah. I like that you said that because men always, a lot of the time, act like sex is like, oh, I'm like fucking this babe. It's me that did everything. Nah, be. Oh, like, we've seen y'all. <laughs> people Bruh. used to do, man. We have seen. <laughs> like, As I said, my boy, boy, my boy's day like you this now. Yodel 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 for the first time. <laughs> Baby yodeling. Yodeling. <laughs> but like, man. you know, the, with, with, with having girls. girl said yodeling. <laughs> I'm not lying. Ask, your, your niggas won't tell you, but like, I can tell you. Proper falsetto, high pitch yeah. screams. <laughs> proper high pitch. Like, that is Yo. how... Anyway. But <laughs> yeah, we get that's it. life as well. You know, having to, like, as women take that mm-hmm. seat, that back seat, and yeah. be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He was doing all the work, but you know the truth. Okay. You know yeah. the truth. And we move on from that. Hey, but, but like, it is, like I said about the fact that, like, I've, I've heard, not like I actually saw but I've heard had someone tell me that mm. they had seen pictures of me mm. somewhere else in a group chat, something like that. And I know how that made me feel. Of course. Yeah. And I'm really glad you're here today because it's like the same way you randomly see your tweets on Insta blog. <laughs> 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 I 
and all the other you things. You have to go there, right? <laughs> <laughs> Fair because, enough. Because, like, yeah. wow. it's, it's also information that you're sharing, you of know, course, and you course, put it out there, and you're, maybe you're upset or you're yeah. angry, mm. and you're talking about something that's important to you, yeah, yeah, and then yeah, suddenly yeah. someone has taken it to a whole different level and put it on Insta blog, no. and then you, the Nigerian There'll be so masses, many takes. No. I swear. <laughs> now take on their own yeah. conversation. How does that, like, when you see that happen, how do you feel? Like, what is that for you? What does that mm. mean? I mean, you? like, when, because obviously the first time, like, a tweet of mine, like, went outside Twitter or whatever, it was, like, years ago, right? And I was, like, quite young. And that's when I realized mm-hmm. how much power I really had. You know, because at first I didn't, like, I, didn't, I actually didn't take it seriously. Like, I just say whatever. Do you understand? <laughs> I just say whatever, but, like, nah, I didn't want this more controlled. Sorry, <laughs> fine. But, like, then it's, like, a tweet that has, like, I don't know, 200 RTs and, like, 50 replies could now be on this blog uh-huh, with uh-huh. like a fucking thousand likes and hundred thousand replies. Everyone blasting me, having opinions. I'm like, yo, this, I didn't sign up for this. Man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and even just like being exposed to like people that I know on Twitter. Uh-huh. Some uh-huh. of my aunties back there will come. Are you okay? I heard this kid said this. I heard this. I'm just like, ah, what's going on? <laughs> wow. You know, or wow. someone saying I'm misogynistic. I was kind of so. Oh. How but do you deal with that yeah. though? It's tough, man. I can't even lie. But I have good friends around me. That's important. You know. That's important. Sometimes when I when I like tweet stuff and my phone just starts ringing, I'm like, oh, what did I say? <laughs> wow. you yeah, know, so so people always try and just like check me if I'm actually out of line. So the funny okay. thing is, he says you were saying that because before I met him properly, yeah, you know, we're in secondary school right there. I did not like him <laughs> because I remember there was a tweet at the time I stayed on the mainland, yeah, and that's when this guy started the war with island versus mainland. So me, I sided with mainland gang at the time. So I was like, yo, who's this fresh dude talking about mainland? Then, lo and behold, years later, me and this guy end up in the same uni. Yeah. And then we become like, geez, I know that to today and all that. And yeah. I used to, for somebody like me now, that I just started like my whole internet journey, quote yeah. unquote. And watching people for years being behind the scenes now is yeah. like, I understand it now. Yeah. Sure. You know, because again, when I met him, I was like, this is not the same guy on Twitter. Yeah. That's another thing, like, yeah. especially with the Nigerian course, community. Like, you think somebody's social media personality mm-hmm. is their real life personality. Like, yo, there's two different, there's different sides of people. Definitely. But, you know, I know the Twitter side of me then was definitely very different. Yeah, you know, yeah. I feel like, you know, because I'm still very expressive, do you understand? But then I was just really loose, you know, and um, that was also the time where I was very intentional with everything I was doing, to be honest. As wild as it seemed, like, it was almost like I knew what I was doing. Like, I was just like, if I want everyone's attention, I'm just going to say this. And I was playing along with it. Mm-hmm. That was the time where Jazzy and all these guys were making things trend, like, hashtag was such a big deal. I remember when like Twain came out, I was like I had to just be saying things about random girls named Twain just mm. to make the song like so. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I came from that type of era, man, you know. Fair. But I don't fair. take it too far sometimes. <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But like I'd always heard, I'd, I'd always hear that you know the person that you are, yeah. like your your actual person is not mm-hmm. your internet person. So for me, yeah, I was always like, okay, yeah, well. <laughs> I mean, but look at him trying to show on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, what do you want me to say? I don't Can know outside of that. Can you separate them? Yes. It's Can a big difference. There's a yeah, huge difference. People Let me, don't okay. do that, though. So, the same way I said, look, before I met him, mm. I'm like, yo, who's this guy does yeah. yabby yabby? When I met him, I'm t- before we even became friends, I met him. <laughs> and I just remember, it was at a party in uni, because yeah. I used to do parties, and he came to one of the parties. And I look, I was just watching, because he was my friend, so I said... This nigga doesn't seem like how he... Like, there was something about him. And then eventually we started chilling, hanging out. I'm like, this guy is not... And even if he is, people don't understand. Social media is one side of you. Of course. That's uh, your intent. That is literally your thoughts and some perspective. Yeah. You, the real life is outside, though. Mm-hmm. It's like, even for me, I tell people, I'm not my... Look, TikTok for me, like, for example, I do TikTok. Mm-hmm. So for me, TikTok is therapy. TikTok mm. is more like, I sit down one day and I'm like, this is funny because I'm a funny dude. But yeah. most times I'm chilled, laid back. Like, I'm not For about sure, to go outside. Man. Ah, Yeah. <laughs> I'm not about to go outside attacking women. Ah, no. Yeah. Like, but I do have thoughts in my head. Like, yeah. I let it out. And that's crazy because when Lube and I were talking about the fact that this, obviously, this season of mm-hmm. the TVMT is going to mm-hmm. air and there are certain things that we are we 100% sure they're going to drag us for. Yeah. But like, this is just us having our own therapy session. I swear. But inviting people into our therapy. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Like, that's actually all it is at the end of the day. I was going to ask you a question, actually, you guys, well, I was going to ask him because he's a pioneer, then I'll also ask you guys a question. Yeah. One, do you read the comments? Always. 
I was always one seeing everything. <laughs> like, yeah. Because I, I low key indirectly do to sometimes. Like, every every time I read it. Because I thought people actually didn't read comments. But I I'm like, you know what? Let me start asking people. Do you read the comments they properly? Because obviously it's a lot. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, I read mm-hmm. all the comments, man. Yeah, man. Do you guys read comments oh, on your oh, reviews? Actually, yes, actually. We just started. So we just started putting out like our stuff online. But I definitely check everything. Like, I, do, every I remember when post. they dragged me on Twitter. Coming to Lemon Curd one year. I read everything. Yeah. Everything. Oh God, yeah. And I remember all of your names. <laughs> don't even fuck, don't forget. I know all of you. Like, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> like, they wanna be like, yeah, oh my God, tell me. No, bitch. I know you. Mm. That's where yeah. I know you from. I'm not gonna lie to you. That's but I, love but like, I move on. Like, yeah. we all, we're all good, exactly. but like, I'm not gonna forget all that shit, too. Nah, but, nah, definitely, man. But still speaking on the idea of like sharing things online, have you guys heard of this? Um, have you guys watched this movie Zola or heard of about the Zola? Um, so basically, oh, this babe. I'm not big on movies. Oh, fair. Okay. Yeah, yeah, got married really before. Yeah. My little bit not told me about fair this. Yeah, but this babe was on Twitter and yeah. she like talked about her life. She was like a stripper um, and just about a crazy experience. She had yeah, some a night out with and some, babe, some yeah. crazy dude, right? Mm. You should actually watch it. I have it on my... Mm. <laughs> I watched it last weekend. So, oh, wow. <laughs> But like, she had it on there. Then a director then goes and makes a, a movie, movie. Yeah. out of the, out the, of experience. the experience. The thread. The thread. Wow. Yeah. And the same way right now, Kemi Adityba and all them cool are on all the blogs mm-hmm. there in the comments you're writing about, you cannot be watching my movie for oh free my and God. all that and all that. But like, is it not, is it free information and I can use it because it's now shared with everyone mm-hmm. or do I still have a right to those thoughts that I have tweeted that I have put on Instagram? Do you still have a right exactly. to that? Like when you put your stuff on Insta blog. Should you get some form of? Should you Pay? be getting anything for that? Oh yeah, tough you, one, I'll, um, tough. for me, no. I mean, personally, <laughs> no. Now the one about the movie thing, cut me my check. You're mad. Like <laughs> that thread is my thought. Like you can't. <laughs> that's, that's a thread. Right there, exactly. Mm-hmm. But for example, if you repost me like on Instablog, Tunde or not, yeah. I don't need to pay you. Like if anything, you are giving me a platform for mm, other people to see me. Yeah. But if you yeah. make a movie, if you make something that you're gonna make monetary value I'm, I, I might say it correctly if you're going to yeah, make, make profit money, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> ultimately not embarrass myself but <laughs> if you're going to make money off the project shall like i should get a cut of if course. not if you like post me on all yeah, your I feel blogs. like as long as it's like it's, it's, if you monetize it then you have you to do the right thing it. for sure okay yeah. that, that's pretty fair um i think for me the last thing that i had thought about when it comes to sharing things online yeah. is the rise of nfts I know we were just talking about that before and how NFTs are like this new thing for artists now mm-hmm. and entertainers mm-hmm. and creators to be able to share their work online. However, I remember reading this thing about how someone put up, uh, what was it? It was like the most random like art yeah. and sold it and like, I I that, yeah. that's it. NFTs like, are the future, man. From the what future, I'm reading, like, if you know anything about NFTs, hit me up. I got selling. ideas for you. If I you know anything about NFTs, any day, like I can take ah, a picture right shoot now shot. and sell it. Is that okay? <laughs> yeah, why not? Definitely. People are doing their album, album art, and all that. Turley just sold like a million. Of Yo, albums. you see that? In like second. The thing is, what I like the idea from what I've been reading about NFTs mm. is that I like that for your content or yeah. your artistic art you put out there mm-hmm. can actually be valued in a way that you value it yourself. Mm-hmm. So, for example, now, like, if you're a music artist, for example, and you put out music, there's no guarantee you're going to make sales and yeah. all that. But at least with this NFT, it's like, you know the people that will truly value your art. And then in the end, I don't, I don't know all about it, but apparently it's like, I don't know how the value increases or decreases, but Sha, even if you get a million, Dory Lane sold all his stuff for $1. Yeah, he he sold, sold a million of them. Yeah. That's $1 each. So oh, yeah. why can't we do the same thing yeah. with our own stuff? If you have, if you have like 30K oh, followers, exactly. you sold that $1. That's $30,000. Yeah. I want what you guys exactly? to even break down. Yeah. Exactly. What Give exactly it to us in layman terms. I, okay, so I don't... Do you, so so I mean. is it... So again, do not quote me. I, don't, I am just <laughs> learning about it. Basically, it's like... If you're an artist, not just a music artist, but like a creator, basically, mm-hmm. you can make content or art that you put on a digital platform that can now be monetized. Yeah. Mm. So it's like an idea you have, you can turn it into something that is actually monetized. Now, some people are starting small with mm-hmm. like 
for example, again, don't quote me, but like the little designs now that people are putting online now, mm-hmm. that's a unique item. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They can sell that. For artists now, they're setting a certain catalog yeah. on NFTs now that they can profit off of. That's a unique collection. So that's what I said. It's really up to everybody to research it because what everybody's NFT? like, he's a music artist. The way he uh-huh, might put uh-huh. NFTs out is different how I'll put NFTs out as yeah. a content creator. Mm-hmm. So... So, like, NFTs, just to bring it home, really, are non-fungible tokens, Mm -hmm. right? These are, they're basically tokens that represent whatever unique creativity you're putting online that you Mm -hmm. can use to monetize eventually. So, like, Marwa Michaels and I will (laughs) said. (laughs) MMS. Like, MMS. What the hell? Nobody's MMS. (laughs) We're putting it out there. But like, like you said, it's basically up to you to go reach it and decide how you can use these things to actually like make money for yourselves. Yeah. It's not guaranteed that you will make money. But Let's just start it's from possible. There. It's possible. As we're seeing, there's also a rise and fall in the conversation to do with cryptocurrencies, Definitely. Bitcoin and whatnot. Uh-huh. So also like understand that it's patience, it's mm-hmm. work, it's hard work. But a friend of mine is actually doing it. He told me about it like last week. Okay. His next like, album. Mad. Yeah. That's so when it comes out, you guys play this clip and uh, first Nigerian artist to, to do it. That's, and that's how it starts. Exactly. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. It catches on from but, there like wildfire, yeah, really. Man. But then my question is, can you sell it in Naira? No. It has to be in the... Yeah. Excuse oh, okay. you. You know where you are. <laughs> 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 yeah, I like asking stupid questions. Yeah, because yeah, no, like, it's true. It's like, how they work? But I like mm. that it's starting it. Yeah. At least... No, not the, the government themselves are going to that. Wait, one dollar, oh, that's five hundred naira. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But <laughs> at the end of the day, like when it comes to sharing things online, mm-hmm. the whole like the whole bottom line is there's risk. Exactly. There's risk in every single thing that you are doing. Whether you are doing NFTs, it might go somewhere. It might not go anywhere. Mm-hmm. It, there's risk in also sharing your nudes. It might go somewhere. It might not go anywhere. And if it doesn't go anywhere, you're lucky. Wait, but are there actions you can take? Is there like legal action you can take if you like leak my nudes on like my nudes on like Twitter or on Instagram? Yeah. I mean, if I, I think it depends on the country. IG, can, on, can I sue Instablog? I mean, what can no. I do? That like, I think it depends yeah. on the country. It depends on the country. One in Nigeria, you're going to be in court for a very long time. Yeah. And yeah. And is the risk of your legal. Yeah, but if you're in America now, ah. Uh, Hundred percent. That guy's going down. <laughs> but apparently, there's laws now where, like, if somebody shares your nudes to other people, you can actually take legal action against them. I'm not sure how effective it is yeah. in Nigeria. In Nigeria, but it is definitely a law right now. But yeah, so that was our aperitif, guys, and okay. we're gonna go into the next section in a second. So stick with us. <laughs> Hey guys, it's still the tea with MT, and we are delving into our pour me a stiff drink topic for the day. Now we're asking ourselves: in this day and age, Nigeria is pretty tough. It's very key to have investments and plans, basically, to like up your money, mm. especially in FX, because the naira is shit. Two of the very popular <laughs> investments today that we see around: uh, we have cryptocurrency. Mm-hmm. What do you guys think of crypto, first of all? I'm still here to understand it fully. Uh, I tried to. Go ahead. I actually gave like a professional someone just to help me, and he lost it. <laughs> it was a couple months ago. I'm just not doing it again. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So you're not one of the people that experienced heartbreak earlier this nah, year. Nah. It was a lot of money at the time, <laughs> but I just I'm not even interested. I kind of like. I think I'm being yeah. stubborn about it, but I just feel like just not for me. Like, mm. like so, same. I'm. Yeah. I put money into it in terms of extra money i had to invest yeah. so mm. even now that's how i treat cryptos like when i have it's extra like yeah. it's like if i no i'm not i'm not i don't even study this stuff that's why i say it's like i'll just i'm around a lot of guys that do crypto mm-hmm. so i pay attention a lot so when they mm-hmm. have certain conversations yeah. as i said if there's extra money to play with like i put money in now that's still sitting there that mm. during the crash it crashed but it didn't affect me because at that time that was extra money yeah. and i already same, knew what i was same. putting myself into but now it's come back up like, even me, I'm still yet to mm-hmm. understand the market. So, for me now, it's more of a, if I have extra income, just listen to friends. Hey, where would I put my money in? Because I'll probably use that money on something stupid that won't make me money. But at least this yeah. one, possibly. Yeah. yeah. 
But in comparison, okay, so another thing that people are doing now to make a lot of money is going into OnlyFans, which is risque, you know. <laughs> is this but really? Is it really risque? It's risque in Nigeria, because, I mean, but... It's 2021. Because only for the people say OnlyFans, they immediately zoom in and think of sex. Yeah. And porn stars and yeah. pornography. Well, that was how it was marketed initially. At this, at because this point, sex sells. Yeah. Money has uh-huh. no shame. At this point, eh? ah. money has no shame. Wait, but Fair. the Look. content that is um, raking in money mm. is it not sexual? Most like the content that rakes in money, it will shock you. Know, some money. people are making racks from toes alone. From toes. From toes. From just. It is sexual. Uh, call it. Look, uh, look. See me. I see of two perspectives. I see. Look. I'm not saying are I you support vanilla? it. Sorry. Are you vanilla? What does that mean? Conventional. I've heard that, right? I've heard that before. What does that actually mean? <laughs> yeah, I didn't even ask the person. This is because the, the vanilla you're talking about. Yeah, I know another definition of vanilla. Wait, what's what's, what's your definition? What's your definition? Hey, yeah. Okay, uh, what is meant like? Because you mentioned, I said toes is a fetish, it's sexual still, <laughs> but you did not. I don't know if you thought it's, it's still. But vanilla basically means that like it's missionary or mm-hmm. nothing. Conventional, conventional sex. No, yeah. yeah. I mean, no, don't get me wrong. We we explore, but what I'm saying is... Uh, we explore, don't get it twisted. Um, but what I'm saying is that toes are not about to be a fetish of mine. What the fuck? Like, why, why would... Why would where you put sock Yo, I know and you... So- I know someone... Congrats to them. ...who literally get, like, she used to get... When I was in... I was in... I was in A-levels. Mm-hmm. She used to get paid by some guy that was in, like, senior A-levels. She was in, he was in A2 to send pictures of her feet every month. And that's why I say I support OnlyFans because, see, mm-hmm. if you are able to make money off somebody liking your stuff, eh, that's their own problem. Make your money. Mm. See, me, if somebody wants to pay me because they like my toes, damn it, I'll do it. But will you get an OnlyFans? Yes. Hmm. Nice. Will you get on? Will you get money has no brand? shame. Money has no think shame. About your brand. Money. What brand? <laughs> you said oh, no. Think let, about okay. Your no. 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 Brand. Let me bust your. No. 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 First, let me bust your head on what she just said. Now. Now. Yeah. How do you know he's on OnlyFans? Because for you to even know the content he's subscribing, you have to subscribe. OnlyFans is very private, which means for you to know what they're doing, you yourself, you have to go and subscribe. Money. Which yeah. means why are you on OnlyFans? So really and truly, nobody's gonna know what you're doing unless you subscribe. Let, let's be real. Somebody can say I'm on OnlyFans. You don't know their content. Unless mm. you pay for it. Like, mm. there are a lot of people I know on all of OnlyFans, based on celebrities and even yeah, no. some personal people. I actually don't know what the hell they do because I'm not paying for it. True. So, Fair. if you come and criticize Fair. me now, why are you paying for it? Fair. But would you actually get an OnlyFans? Get an OnlyFans. Why? People would want me to be sexual. And I'm not even that type of guy. <laughs> Fair. Fair. If I can go on there and be freestyling, then cool. But yeah. like, but I'm about to waste it. Like, like, <laughs> I'm ready to get. Show us your dick. Show us your dick. Let me catch it. Let me catch it. If they paid you now to just be shirtless, that's different now. No, that's how it starts though. Nah. It's still sexual. No, that's sexual though. It's still you sexual. being shirtless is sexual to some women. Yeah, I'll definitely get paid to be shirtless, <laughs> but I won't do anything more. Mm-hmm. That's like a little model shoots I've done before. Yeah, let me. Oh yeah, let me ask you a question first. That's actually. Sorry, but like you being shirtless mm-hmm. would be classified more as a kink, yeah, rather than yeah. a fetish. But like with toes, right? Mm. It's when I it's, it's when you you're mean. like sucking the toes yeah. that it becomes I can like do that a kink. Sexual, yeah, I can be, I can a kink is just cool. like if they paid you ten, gra- gra- if they paid you yeah. ten grand to just be on only fans to do boxers only, and I wouldn't do it, man. I'm telling you, I wouldn't do it. I hate my legs. Even Are you so stupid? I just can't be out there like that. Yeah, I'm, sh- I'm shaking. I won't go like that. I'm, I'm, sh- I'm that da- what to, to dance you, with you, you, you what? Get a what? The only reason why what? I'm what? not attempting to do it is because of my job. I will give you the greatest show. Uh-huh. What? Just shag me my check early, show, so yeah. I know it's there. Fair. After that, what? Will you will get the greatest show. But like, okay, would you date someone who who has an OnlyFans? Now the funny thing you say that I have dated a stripper before. Okay. So, oh. Yeah. Okay, Zola. Oh. <laughs> I, I see Mad. how that, you know, I actually see that. So, see it this way. I've dated a stripper before and also, let's say, even if you say, okay, let me not say that for the whole Instagram community comes from me because here's what I'll say. <laughs> okay, yeah. a stripper is different. But for example, mm-hmm. it's like you asking me, can I date an Instagram model? Because some Instagram models now are just going to do 
bikini photos only, yeah. which means it's more sexual photos yeah. only. So the same way you've asked me that, can I date an Instagram model? Is the same way I'll answer yes. Can you date but, an OnlyFans, someone that's an OnlyFans that now, does sexual, sexual content. content? Like no. she masturbates no. on OnlyFans. No. no. Why? Because for me, I don't do judge it. her. I don't judge her. Make your money, boo. You get what I'm saying? Like, make your money. I told you I've dated a stripper before. But for where I am in life right now, because when I dated that stripper, again, I was younger. Again, it's not saying I can't do that, but where I am right now, the kind of girl I want to date properly, I wouldn't want that because my certain things are private. Like, if I don't do it, then I would hope you don't do it. Again, I don't judge you, but if I'm going to date you seriously, yeah. you get what I'm saying? I'm selfish. Let's say it like that's that. That's just the... Let's, that's let's, what's let's, the let's, let's be, No, line. but then there's a difference. If you're a... As I say, that's masturbate. That's a whole different ball game. <laughs> if you said she was just posting bikini photos and all that, and, you know, even if she did one topless photo, I'm not saying I'll say yes, but I'm just saying, even if that, that's different, but but to masturbate... <laughs> that's true. Nah, that's what I say. Like, I know he's... <laughs> I, I, I didn't say... <laughs> no, I didn't say I agreed to that. See, I didn't say I agreed to it, too. I didn't say I agreed to it. I'm just saying, yeah. if we're saying the level, I didn't yeah, say I agreed yeah, to it, yeah, yeah. because <laughs> masturbation is a whole... Oh, different sure. ball game sure. i i'm personally not comfortable as a man yeah to do it let me just be real yeah. i'm not comfortable as a man to know that you're being paid other men are watching this when mm-hmm. that alone should be for who you are dating i'm notice how i didn't yeah. say for me alone no i didn't say for me alone for who you are dating that yeah. thing is different but if you're doing bikini for, do your thing as long yeah, as they're paying you shall, yeah, what's my own cool. If I take me out, bikini is calm, man. That sounds, you know. But topless, no. (laughs) It sounds fair. (laughs) Topless? But topless? Masturbating? Foot fetish? Mm -mm. None of that? Mm -mm. Okay. Mm -mm. I don't think it's that deep. To be honest. I can't lie. I I can't lie. If you were dating an Instagram model, right? You said yes, right? If she gets an offer for 30K dollars, the topless photo, and she already into it, I'll look at her and just be like, I can't lie. It's hard. You it's hard. Have, I, but I'm not going to stop you from getting your check as long as you spend on me, baby. Imagine you tell me Spend no. on me. Spend. I'm not going to tell her no. Like, but I'm going to be... Is I'm not going to tell her no. It's your money. It's business. However, as your boyfriend and my pride as a man, the world is going to see it. So it's like, damn. Can so you handle the, the it? The world is not going to Can you handle see it? it? The world already no. sees me so, Jenna, without exactly. my bra half of the year. All the time. No, but take so why give them an extra... Just, when you say so, for example, you said the world is gonna see it. Are you on OnlyFans? Like, do you watch videos on no, OnlyFans? Do you? No. It's not that do you get. It's a very risque concept, and people are cashing out from it because it's for online. you to because even the people that pay are private. Because yeah. 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 for you have to pay, so there's gonna be that price. You're not gonna tell people, hey, I pay but for then, OnlyFans. But then someone I think can take it's a, a short. Of it. I mean, you can still go viral. Sure. Apparently, you can't. I really? Think, oh, I think so OnlyFans. How, how can they control? I'm not there sure. Don't quote me again. But I feel like there's some websites that have a protective feature, like yeah, you, you can't can, munch you can, or screen yeah. record some stuff. Exactly. Because if that was the case, Loki will be seeing a lot more OnlyFans clips more. online. True. I just really have to clip uh, clock that. Right now, actually. True. But like you see, the, the issue now is that like now OnlyFans has come up with this their whole new terms and conditions yeah. where they're cramp, they're cramping down a bit on the sex content that goes on OnlyFans. Mm. So fewer people are making as much money as they used to. Yeah. So, is it really as viable now to be on OnlyFans and to just enter streets? I think it still is, man. It's still <laughs> At least you're being paid for being yeah, on the streets. It's, it's, yeah. <laughs> so, I'm paid either way. But the only time I allow my babe, you know, be on that topless piece is for like a good cause. <laughs> for like like breast, you know, cancer or something yeah, like that. Okay, okay, fair, fair, fair. That kind of thing. <laughs> but like, don't just be out there, you know. <laughs> Casually. You so, so, even if the check is high now. Nah. I'll say she shouldn't do it, but she actually wants. I'm not going to break up with you if you do it, but I know it's going to affect me for sure. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I don't even like all that type of stuff, man. <laughs> ah, thinking about it now is crazy. The thing, yeah, I, yeah, I get yeah, what you're saying, but they, like, like you said, I'm not going to stop you from your check, right? Yeah, definitely. But then, if one guy should just come to you, like. And me, I know how I am. Like, I would, like, fight on site. Like, I ain't gonna lie. I, I would fight if it's my girlfriend and you just come to me. It depends. Does it depend on how big she is as well? What do you mean? Because she has, like, a big bus. I think the effects are different. If, if your girl's really thick. Either yeah. way, is it? My, no, my girl, sexual, my girl, right? no, my girl's my girl. The fact that you, you're coming to me to tell yeah, me yeah, how yeah, boyfriend, yeah. hey, I saw your girl, or oh, I saw this. Why the will you come and tell me? I'm fighting no, you on no, site. No, people make money. Like both niggas and men make money. Like, see, Tiger. Tiger's an OnlyFans. Of course. He means like he makes like six hundred K a year. Okay, can we ask you guys the same question? 
if if your boyfriends were on OnlyFans or the guys you're dating on OnlyFans, would you agree? If he's making money, I just so I don't like um not being in the know. That's the issue that I have. So at, it depends on how long. For, so we have to have a plan. How long are uh, you doing this what for? What about he was doing it before he met money? you and he was making money? So if why are you not going to say it, make a plan? No, if he was doing it before, then that's fine now. I'm not going to stop that. Okay. You get? But like if that. you want to go into it, I need to understand why. Is it that there's no other way? <laughs> and if you say that... <laughs> mm. If you say that there's no other way, then I need to understand. Like, we will run your career together. No doubt. That is, do you understand? Uh, I will let, I yeah, see. I will be as Behind invested in it man. as you. Woman. There's a woman. Like, there's a woman. Like, like, don't get me wrong. Yeah. Yeah. I like yeah. it. We'll run it together. Yeah. 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 So, like, I will probably even be managing. I don't know who's DMing you. Because that's, know see, that's why I don't like. I don't know how much making. You know what the women now, you guys sometimes, I. you know what, you're not wrong in anything I'm saying. However, my problem is sometimes some women read things differently than the way a man would. Now, if you are about 100%, because there are some women that run some guys guys businesses in the entertainment industry that's mm-hmm. look it's all business we know the women will come all that shit unless you're like that that i'm saying it's not my babe that'll be able to handle that because you're my babe in the not end fair for fair, me fair. if you're if my man is doing only fans we are doing only fans together uh-uh. we are a couple that i'm telling what you i'll hell? open my own we are on only fans together. together it's as simple as that <laughs> so what about if you know okay it can go either way it can go either way if a man, if a woman is a, so for example, if I dated, an, we dated an Insta model now. Yeah. I know uh-huh. Insta model, but if I, if, if I did an Insta model, that's her game. Yeah. yeah. Me coming to join now is like, what am I going to do no, there? Vice versa, if you dated an Insta model guy now. It's not even like that. It's just for me, the thing of, if you can accept, if I can't accept some of the things you are doing, right? So if you're going to be doing the thing that you don't want to change, fine. But I'm also going to do that as well. And we are going to now be on the same page. But if you're making money from another income stream and this is I my income make stream, why money. are you coming to my... Why can't I yeah. make more money? And besides, couples on, on OnlyFans do better. Uh, How about, okay. Than I you okay, 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 let me bust your head. Let me bust your head. As, let's say I'm the guy now. I don't want to have my relationship on that kind of platform. Well, I don't yeah. want you to be on OnlyFans. I was already then, making money before you. Exactly. Then, that was already his thing. I think mean, if you were doing it before you met okay. me, I'm not going okay, to Okay, babe. Okay, so if I came to you now, hey, no. babe, then, well, some I, people I have come to... to okay, let me ask you a question. Date someone who is doing that OnlyFans. Okay, so if I wasn't doing OnlyFans, right, but we're dating, we started dating, not even boyfriend, the first few months, because obviously yeah. you had to date first. Hey, babe, but I don't ask you a question. I've been offered some opportunities. People, girls have been coming to me like, yo... Mm-hmm. Join only fans. I'm not telling you this to brag. I'm saying like, yo, there's money in it. What, like, the there's fans? money. Like, no, there's real money. Or... See, even if that was the case, look, if I swing my dick, they give me five thousand dollars. Do you boo? For every swing. Five thousand dollars for every swing. <laughs> Do you boo? So you let me. Five thousand dollars in this economy in Naira converted. I'm like, no, yeah, no, you're not making, you're not managing. You're my girlfriend. You're I'm not cheating. Mind you, he's not cheating. He's not cheating. He's not cheating. He's not cheating. That's fair. That's fair. And that's fair. That's fair. The best point of call. Then everything else after that will be stressful. So I'll just be like, see, bro, I can't lie to you. It's gonna be a necessary fight and argument. Yeah, you get. I don't have the energy for that. I don't have the time for that. So do you? Like me, I'll show my girlfriend first. Like you look at the video. Is it okay? <laughs> so you know what's going on, like. Oh my god! I, exactly. I think that communication always makes life much easier. Do you get? If you're going into it, I'm not even saying I should manage your career. Let me just know what's going on. Yeah. Do you understand? So if someone is trying to take it beyond business, let me know. It's the same way you like. The same way if somebody moves to you in the office, you mm. shouldn't. Do you understand? If that's your work, then it's your work. I won't stand in the way of your. Body you know what's ever. funny? You saying that is like I've had some issues. Not even like I was saying it's always a bad issue on the person, but I can understand it now at this age that there's some girls I dated before that there was an issue of even just the little things of the way I did my content. Not even just recently, even before, yeah. mm-hmm. and even now, some content seems aimed at women. Because everything's perception. Mm-hmm. So you would think I'm trying to move to all these women and all yeah. that stuff. Mm-hmm. I'm just being myself, talking of stuff about Because I know it. Yeah. And you already have a problem with that. So it's like, even with that now, if you already have a problem with those little things, as mm-hmm. a lot of women sometimes exactly. do, imagine only fans. I, I but mean, you know, even but you know what I'm doing both ways. Content yeah. is for the check. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Whether it likes for the check. So if you can't even approve that, yeah. only fans. Ah, uh, exactly. That yeah. I say, yeah, I, I have to get a girl that you know yourself. I think it's all about knowing yourself. Because mm-hmm. if a girl knows, look, 
He's not cheating on me. That yeah. check is coming home to me. That yeah. dick is coming home only to me. Why are you complaining? Fair. 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 As a, an artist, yeah. I'm sure... I don't know if... Have you been in relationships during your career? I'm assuming of course. you have. Re- <laughs> my whole life I've relationships. <laughs> <laughs> I like that answer. It's crazy. I'm actually I like that answer. That's why now. That's I like that answer. Like, like it's crazy. Wow. Yeah. So don't judge it. You see, this is a perfect no. example of not judging. He's a I, rapper I that just him. actively admitted he's yeah. been in relationships. Don't judge a book by that. It's not openly because I, I can imagine that, like, even like being an artist, like, yeah. like, mm-hmm. you get offers to do all sorts of crazy things. Yeah. yeah. And your girlfriend would see it and be like, of course, now. Nigga, what's yeah, all this? Yeah, yeah, definitely now. He has to just pick and choose, GS. <laughs> and uh, I've always been unlucky. Like, you know, a lot of girls I've dated just never really understood the whole lifestyle thing. Yeah. Literally. Yeah. At first, some of them act like they don't care. After a while, it gets crazy. It, it, or now, I mean, posting true. girls, it's Wahala, like, it's problems, you know, so. So, wait, when you say, can you give examples of what you mean, just so some of us can understand? <laughs> No, so, it's true because look, I just, look. He's can been be like a video he's been in it for a while. Let's be real. Now, recording girl, then video, and why is that an issue? Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's an issue. I mean, what are they doing in the video? Be dancing. No. no, no. You see, but that's I like that you ask that question because it starts like that. <laughs> so it's good you're asking. This video. entertainment, right? I mean, fair, but if you guys are not like shooting and then the baby's on your lap. And I'm seeing it in your story or something. And I'm like, are no, you I'm cool? entertaining my I, fans. <laughs> Only fans. Imagine if I was an actor. Like, do you understand what I'm saying? I had to kiss someone. That was even too much. Oh, that be that person, but there that, that, that thank you. There we go. Here we go. Thank you. I don't cheat. I'm not giving you any reason to... You know, and I feel like you. even if you're an artist or yeah. in that entertainment, if you tell your girl or whoever you're with, like, hey, uh-huh. this will work. It's gonna happen. Yeah, you know what it's for? It's entertainment. entertainment. That's all it's. I'm about. not going home with that person. Oh, yo, damn about that yeah. person. I'm posting them because I'm they have a following. I, I have a car. following. We're exactly. posting it online. It Our followers are gonna see it. Yeah. Then they're gonna mess with both of us. Simple. It's a business but opportunity. Like, like in that in, in that sense, <laughs> in that sense, it, you man. guys are both owning your own content, right? Yeah. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. You own your content. The money that comes into your pocket from that. Content is your own but with uh-huh. stuff like um only fans and crypto you don't yeah. own your content it's managed it's, it's managed for you You're just putting the content on this platform uh-huh. but like okay you've been on you've been on only fans for a while and now you are realizing that but the money is no longer making sense they are clamping down on these things and yeah. you have to exit and you have to make money elsewhere when do you determine that it's is, done enough you're done you're, you're done enough like is it when your babe starts becoming stressful to you on the side being like bruh you need to get off this mm-hmm. thing. Or is it when you feel like, okay, I've made this amount of money and I'm done? It depends on your own goals. Yeah. Some people go into certain things just trying to make X amount. Once they get it, they're out. Even in music, it happens all the time. Somebody come, I want to drop one album, I want to make $100,000. Mm-hmm. Once they get that, they're done. How about with things like crypto? Because OnlyFans, because I particularly, there was this investment thing he called, if you guys can hear this, release my money. <laughs> Release it. <laughs> there was this yeah, investment thing oh, that I did. And like, it was like me and a few people. And we legit planned to do it for just like six months. And these guys just clamped down on our money. And I had put in a lot of money <laughs> like on it. So I feel like if I had done it for maybe like a three-month period, a two-month period, I'd have just taken my money and dipped. So with all these high-risk type things, how do you determine when to... So with what you said, I don't know your situation fully, obviously, but with crypto, that's a nationwide thing. So mm. you putting your money in, it's not like one guy can run with it. It's like mm. if one guy runs with it, he's running yeah. with the whole world's, like quite a percentage of the world's okay, money. Well, yeah. If that makes sense. Now, like mm-hmm. you said, there have been schemes like that. A lot of people have fallen yeah. into that. So with crypto, again, crypto does have its faults. I don't know everything about crypto. I'm not even saying I'm supporting crypto. I'm just going by what I know. I just mm. know that, like I said, extra money I have, I put in. If it goes up, it's extra money. If it goes down, it could pay me. it's not paying me because, like I said, mm. extra money. Yeah. So it's safe. Yeah, you don't lose. It's safer. You're you going to money. lose money. It's it's safer. It's a safer risk. form of exact like everything. Everything has a risk. You do your research. 
everybody needs to realize you do your research. People like talking about stuff they don't know nothing about. Even mm-hmm. this crypto thing. Notice how the people that criticize it, have you actually sat down to read? A lot? Notice how I said I don't even know enough about but at least from what I've read, I understand, okay, yeah. to this extent. So it's just about knowing what you're putting your money into. That's it. Just doing the right research. Mm-hmm. It's the same way. It's, it's like... It's even the same thing with OnlyFans too. Mm-hmm. Or any of these kinds of like gets rich schemes at all yeah. everything you actually need to research do uh-huh, your research uh-huh. know what you're getting into there is risk in everything in every single thing that you do but for our for the context of this particular topic with only fans and crypto i feel like at this moment where only fans is like really beginning to stress people who create sexual content, content. especially yeah. mm-hmm. if you're going to be an only fans for sexual content this might not be the best time to be doing that. Timing and is key. Timing is very key. Mm-hmm. And even with crypto, everybody, I remember I joined the Crypto Babes group chat. <laughs> that group chat, when crypto was popping in Lagos, almost, I was seeing like every day I'll look at my phone, I'll be like 1,000 plus messages on WhatsApp. Oh, mm-hmm. but now, now when I get like five messages in a month yeah. or something. Like, and now that I said, doing your research, no, uh, trust me, and that's I said, some people join just when it's the hype mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. without doing their research yep. and that's why you get disappointed and that's why you get upset like, oh i didn't know just do your research so yeah. i feel yeah. like there's just there's so many opportunities for people to like either make money yeah. or triple or double whatever they have but then there's just so much hype and pressure around all these like digital things and mm-hmm. it's actually scary mm-hmm. it's actually because scary. people actually make me like me specifically i feel like i don't know what i'm doing because i'm not in crypto yeah yeah. Nobody even wants to use skills anymore to do anything. <laughs> no one wants to provide products or services. They just wants to just what's the next digital so, yeah, so money. money. Yeah. I, just, I, I, I don't get when everything became like this. It's actually irritating. I swear. <laughs> it's <laughs> actually annoying. Now that you see that subconsciously annoying. I've been th- subconsciously I've been thinking like that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because it's like there's still real shit to do there's outside. So many things to do to outside, make money yeah, because like, Again, like I said, uh, internet is free money. To yeah. me, it's free yeah, money. Yeah. Yeah. In terms of if you have it, not I'm not going to knock it off. If it's free money, fine. But I'm not going to mm-hmm. put my whole yeah, life into mm-hmm. it. Because there's a whole yes. world outside. Bruh. That's very key. Like, don't always focus on the things that seem to be like, get money of quick. Yep. <laughs> quick schemes. Yep. Do your research and be sure that what you're getting into mm-hmm. is also, actually legit. Uh-huh. Also, just to... It's age. We're well, getting older, and like all the youngins are coming out and talking about all these things that I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what the hell is going on? But yeah, guys, this was our pour me a stiff drink part of the uh, part of today's episode. It was pretty interesting. interesting. We hope you learned something. Go do your research. Yeah. Go get an OnlyFans if you need to. If you are on OnlyFans, wow. please send the link to T with MT <laughs> DMs. Let me check you out. They don't send me any news. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Jerry. Welcome to the nightcap. This is the last part of the Tea with MT today. It has been wonderful so far. Definitely what do you guys right. think? I That's loved it so far. <laughs> okay, okay, well good. Conducted. We've had arguments during the show and outside of the show. <laughs> 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 but we're hoping that we can bring it all together in this last part. So the nightcap today, we're going to be talking about <clears throat> plastic surgery. Some of people don't like talking about plastic surgery. People that have had plastic surgery don't talk mm-hmm. about it. People that have felt those that have had plastic surgery don't talk about it. Yeah. And people that know about it don't want to yearn about it. Too. <laughs> and I don't really understand why. Because it is quite common mm. for women especially to go and do plastic surgery. Mm. Different kinds of surgery. Mm-hmm. There's like I know a lot of babes in the UK when I was in school. BBL way. Like standard you come out of uni oh you come out of uni yeah in second day of uni bbl before third year yeah. <laughs> like, wow yeah like you do you have, I ain't to gonna talk. <laughs> <laughs> you have to switch up for your final year now you got to everything so like <laughs> i know it's, it's crazy Amen. but it, it's happening and it's yeah. happening a lot here in lagos as well yeah but like in lagos we're hearing more stories Dr. Anu stories. stories. More horror stories. Sorry, what is Dr. Anu, by the way? <laughs> Who? So, the, a doc, she's a, a doctor. Who um, is she? Yeah. Uh, well, we've heard it's a woman. A doctor towards that Ikota Ajasa. 
I swear. I yeah, swear. A doctor Where in Lagos. Where a lot of people go to mm-hmm. get surgeries yeah. done, and she's a butcher. What do you mean? She botches. <laughs> she ruins your body. You of come course. out of there with problems. What do you so expect? Why are people still going? So because it's, it's affordable. Yeah. So the thing is, I feel like it's really unfair that Niger because a lot of them are Nigerians that studied abroad and they don't necessarily have the qualifications that are required or the experience to come and but because in Nigeria, you know, everybody wants a sexy body. Everybody we cannot deny that sex sells and we all prescribe a particular body type. Mm-hmm. At certain points in our life, of course, now nah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so, when you want this, and okay, I can't go to Yankee, but there's a doctor in Surule, <laughs> mm, they can do it for me. Yeah. That's charging me one M when other people are charging me 6M, so that's why they go. But unfortunately, I don't think they have the facilities. I don't think, although there have been a few good stories, people like Tonto DK, for example, Tonto got her surgery done in Lagos, yeah. what? She got, yes, she got her surgery done in Nigeria. There was like a whole show mm-hmm. that documented everything that really? she did. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I think it just depends on how much bar you have to drop. And you need to do but, your <laughs> research. I mean, even though I knew her body was done, I just didn't know it was, you know, in Lagos. Yeah. Wow. She it did was. It in Nigeria. It was in Lagos. Yeah. So it depends on how much bar you have to drop. So it's not necessarily that everybody who does surgery in Nigeria is bad or will fuck your body up. But there's a larger number of horror stories, people who have gotten infections and whatnot. So my own question is, since we all know, that it is really dangerous. Why is it so rampant? Because I always say, like, the girls I mean, that have normal bomb bomb in Lagos were like five. <laughs> Me and four. That's a lie. That's a lie. That's a lie. Yeah, yeah, Everybody yeah, yeah. in Lagos that's has a lie. an ass. Yeah, but now. Like, I mean, oh, yeah. about it. No, but the thing is, they've always had. Mm. There are a lot of girls that have not. No, as a man. It. Look. Nope. I don't can't relate. It's more likely we are going to look. I'm not saying women don't look. What but, women look more than men, and women look at it in a different way than men look at no, it. You don't. No, what? you don't. We scrutinize. We, you scrutinize. You we are scrutinizing. Tell. We were appreciating. If your thing is just round, <laughs> we know if it's natural. See the way it's jiggling, oh, yeah. the way it's rounded, the way it sits, the thigh to um ass, ass ratio. ratio. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. There's a big difference. See, we don't don't even get interested. I'm not saying you don't. Women see women look at it that same way as well. We appreciate too, but like. I will see more women with their ass cheeks out than you would. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. So yeah. I know what a bum that is that has done a good a good job looks like. I know what a bum that is that has a bad a job. That, a terrible job looks yeah. like. And you know what the in between looks like. I know them ones that look natural, but you know there's something off about so this. So what do you mean by there's something off about this? Ah. Cause doesn't doesn't that mean that you can assume that? Because because at the same time you're saying that doesn't that mean you're also assuming it is possible you could be assuming? Yeah, you could oh, be well. assuming. So the thing is, to be honest, yeah, sometimes there are some sizes that look really natural, but I just feel that if you have this size of bum bum, it should shake to a certain degree. When I gauge that, there are some certain celebrities that we see like they have this nice round ass, yeah. but it's very stiff. But everybody is doing this whole you know i want my body like this to be, look like to this. look like this based uh-huh. on stuff like only fans that we just talked about That's yeah right. you know there's competition right out there everybody and their uncle yeah. and auntie y'all need to join tiktok so you can see the natural shit because <laughs> um, i've noticed something too like for somebody like me like the nigerian celebrities you mentioned not all of them obviously but some everybody's following trends so even the surgery mm. thing is like the trend but that's why I said for me, like when we talk about the outside, I will always prefer natural bodies. I don't give a damn how good your body looks if mm-hmm. you got it done. Yeah. I will prefer the natural ones. And there are many women, uh, not just in Lagos, around the world, yeah. even in Nigeria, itself, in Lagos, Everywhere. Lagos, babes, there's some yeah. natural bodies that you see. Yeah. Be like, have you yeah. been with anyone that has had, had surgery? surgery? Can you tell? Have, no, wait, just have you been with anyone first? Oh, no. And wait, 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 wait. I take that back. I take that back. When you say been with, slept because it's her early twenties, early twenties, yeah, yeah, about her early twenties. No, no, she didn't. No, no. How about you? No, I like staying out of women's business. <laughs> <laughs> the politically yeah. correct answer. Well, I feel like Ooh. my take on this, right? I just think that <laughs> I feel like pop culture <laughs> is influencing <laughs> everyone right now. Yeah, I feel like the era where you know, women with natural bodies, you know. Were celebrated 
like long gone, right? Mm. Mm-hmm. So now, whether it's fake body or lips or cheeks, people are just altering different parts of their body yeah. to fit this new image of what a beautiful girl looks like, right? Mm-hmm. And that shouldn't be the case. Do you understand what I'm saying? Mm. So we need more people uplifting people who do have natural bodies. Yeah. Whether or not they're skinny, thick. If you look at the 2000s, you know, like I always joke and say, the models from the 2000s, for example, when we were kids watching those music videos. Yes. I'm not saying something gets up, but see how they were slim mm-hmm. and all that Honestly. stuff. Like me, I love thick women. Like you have a little thickness in you. Like I love that. And that's why I say you can tell a natural thickness. You get what I'm saying? You can tell the surgery thickness compared to mm. natural thickness. It's actually like, like cellulite to booty ratio, by the way. Just saying. So like, <laughs> yeah. Explain what you mean, because when you say that, I understand what you mean, but I have a different perspective. But explain what you mean. It's like the amount of, like, there's, there's fat, right? Mm-hmm. In, your, in your ass, there's fat in your thigh. Of yes. course. And the amount of cellulite, I think that's what makes it, like, all mm. soft. I see. Like, if I don't see them certain stretch marks, mm Mm. Yeah, I, need, yeah, like I love stretch like, Let me see you know, that like, like, I, know, like, I know that's natural have, thickness have stretch Even guys get stretch like, On their arms mm-hmm. When they get bigger mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. You can tell that Okay yeah This person this definitely is. Worked and be built mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah. Of that way. If you don't have Stretch marks How did you get this thick? Where did you start from? And that's what I say Like yeah. I say Look guys do See women think we're joking We do CRB checks Even what if you are Everybody has Stretch marks, exactly. No, of course, but I'm saying guys actually sometimes check. It will shock yeah. you which guy, if he actually likes you, will check that last photo you have on Insta. Just say, let's see the progression. Okay, she got naturally. Th- ah, when did this change just happen all of a sudden? Like, ah. So, you guys, I want us to not necessarily uh, make it seem like it's a bad. I'm personally pro surgery. I'm going to get surgery. Yeah, no, do your I, thing. I, do, I, your I'm thing. do your pro- thing. Do your thing. That's why I said I have nothing man. against it. I it's have nothing dangerous. against it. Yeah. Yeah. The only but reason I want why. To get surgery my yeah. ass or anything because I think I got it personally. <laughs> I'm trying well, to grow my own ass, Sha. The only reason why I have not started saving towards it or trying to fundraise is because I know that there are dangers. Yeah, and I have heard from my room, Dr. Nassif and Dr. Dubro, which hmm. <laughs> we should not so what get about, contracts Let me ask you a question. What, the about, what about the... Okay, so the other way, but what the gym? There are a number of girls that have grown... I don't know about breasts, but in terms of booty, oh, there are a lot. That's what I say. Apart from breasts, I can't say. But in terms of booty, there are a lot of girls that have grown booty from the gym. It's, it's a work in progress, why aren't it? This yeah, is no. just a back and forth. It's, 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 it's not where you are now. It's yeah, about where you're going. It's about where you're going. It's the gym. gym. So where do I now? So where does that huh? come? What does how about that, tits? How does exactly. What do you mean? You can't can build tits can in the gym. Can I ask you one question? Yeah. Why do you want bigger tits? Let's just see. No, Why? Why? Because they they this. would look better. I just, I just they would so like it's just because of vanity. Yeah, pretty much. It's just about how it looks, really. Yeah. I don't like the fact that you say vanity <laughs> because you're trying to de-emphasize the importance but, of being confident yeah, in but, your looks. And it's important to so feel the like... the bigger the tits, the more you're confident. For, no, bigger. If that's I actually thing, just want a size of simple. Uh-huh. Okay, okay, okay. Nothing more than that. Yeah. I just think it would look nicer You'll be happy with your dresses. body. And yeah. I some dresses that I can't wear because I don't have enough tits to carry it. And you, dieting can help with that. Dieting, no. Yeah. no. Dieting, no. So you're gonna be so every girl's gonna be the same size forever, no matter. How much no, like I, just ha- I have babies. That's the only way for me to have my tits get bigger. Yeah, okay, okay. I mean, there are babes that gain weight and their tits grow, but it's not my something you can don't. determine. It's not, yeah. it's not. Yeah, it's not. Trust me, I've tried. Okay. It's usually just from I lost weight. <laughs> Do nothing. So. Yeah. Hey man, stay out, stay out of the That's what I said. It's like hey. this thing is—it's crazy, but, but man, who knows? it's just the danger. Me, I just—I yeah. I, 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 I can only speak for myself, and he can speak for himself. From yeah. me, I mean, I know what I like. Mm. And that's what's important. Yeah, I, 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 I miss the era where Halle Berry was like the hottest in the world. I know. I tell people, bro, I actually right. don't get phased by Instagram models. Funny enough, yeah. like it does. Because you're an Instagram model does nothing to me. Because the girl on the street that got the banging body is probably the one I'm going to look at more than you. you know. And that's yeah. not, you get what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like, it's more of just your perspective, what you like. At the end of the day, it's about mm. what you like. About what exactly. You like. It's about what I like. Exactly. It's about what I want. But it's about making everyone that's natural feel like. Yeah, good. I mean, good. that's what we. But wait, why you say make them feel like they're good? Why shouldn't they feel good already? They should feel good. No, because some girls that are natural, right? Like, you guys are natural, but you won't be your tits. You won't mm. be ass. But we're telling you that you're actually good the way you are and you're beautiful. I'm, I'm good the way I am, but like. You know, you can want, you know, you can love Sharon. But Sharon. I still want. Can love Sharon, exactly. Love Tara, I think what way. we should, what we should really embrace is letting people do whatever the fuck they want. Fair. Just make sure you do your research. 
run and your checks yourself. exactly at the end of the day the whole thing is just about us embracing like ourselves yeah. loving your body yes but also yeah. allowing yourself to if you feel like you want to mm-hmm. have bigger tits no i think that's allowed you can just, just run your checks it. just run your checks ensure that checks. like you understand the risks and like all of that to go with it not to say that i'm actually ever actually going to do surgery because i can't like being under the knife scares the hell out of me yeah. mm. but it's something that i want Fair yeah enough. i can't lie mm-hmm. about yeah. it but i'm not obsessed about my body can I, yeah can i ask you a question you may because i <laughs> okay let me not lie and not, not act like i know but you know with like birth control for example like you know you gain a little weight some women you know been there yeah. done that there don't worry i mean i'm not gonna get on the pill so my ass can grow now <laughs> no 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 i'm not saying that you should go and say i'm just I saying mean, doesn't that i was gonna actually control, ask man. i was gonna ask does it help actually grow yeah, some I mean, areas it does. It yeah does. i know people yeah. there are so many other things that come with birth control. no i know well, for example I, I like clots or some shit like i know exactly. that not even just clots, depression yeah yeah. Fam, when, I was on, when I was on the yeah. pill, I had to stop because, like, it literally turned my life into shit. Hmm. Literally, like, oh, for the real? entire yeah, like for mm. two years of my life, wow. I was literally in the most depressed state. Women go, you guys are that, yo, so women yo, go no, bro, lot, so. I was telling somebody like being in a relationship <laughs> now, like before I'm single now, but like before. I learned so much yeah. about women and myself. Because even this pill stuff, yeah. it wasn't until I, I was in a relationship with this age that I was like, mm-hmm. yeah, I'm depressed. What the fuck you mean you're depressed? Yeah. It's a pill. Man. Like, I thought it just stopped this. Man. No, it's, it does this. It, it does, does this. So I'm much. like, yo. swings off. Yo. Yeah. I did not. And that I say, it's not our fault. Nobody educates us on yeah. this. Like. That's what the T with MC is here for. Exactly. So we educate you guys. So anyway, at the end of the day, like, you guys, if you want to also grow your peen, there's there's many ways to do that. Do your research. I'm good. I'm good. So you don't I'm come good. and tell us stories on I am Twitter, okay. Instagram about how you okay. fucked up your dick. I nope. am okay. I'm okay. <laughs> but yeah. Anyway, thank you so much, guys, for joining us on today's show. It's been yeah, awesome having you. Thank you thank for having us. Yeah, thank you. People are following the tea with empty pod. On I have to. I'm going I to. Will, I will right now. Okay, yeah. good, good. I want to see you guys right. doing that. And everyone that's yeah. watching as well, make sure you're following the tea with empty pod on Instagram. You can watch our previous episodes on YouTube, on the Cloud YouTube. Thank you so much. And have a wonderful rest of your week. See yes, you next sir. week. Bye, guys. Bye.